Uh, after 42 years of service, Chief Manger uh, stepped out of retirement to lead uh, the Capitol Police Department. He felt compelled after the January 6th attack to serve once again. And in his first interview since the Justice for J6 rally, Chief Tom Manger spoke to BNC about his uh, top priorities going forward. That includes staffing up his department on Capitol Hill. And that's where we find our D.C. correspondent, both the imam, as she always is, who spoke with the chief in this exclusive one-on-one. -on -one. The chief says they were well prepared for Saturday's event, and other than some fights between protesters and counter-protesters, it was mostly a smooth event on Saturday. And it, it leads some to wonder, what if this had been in place on January 6th? Did you wonder the same? I did, and in fact, uh, there, as I was going around um, talking to my officers and talking to some of the folks that were in charge of, of uh, different uh, areas uh, um, down at the demonstration, a couple of them, without even me asking, said, you know, if we'd had this on the 6th, it would have been a different story. And, um, and my hope was that we were prepared for anything, but I was really happy for um, my officers because I think after January 6th, they wanted to feel like uh, the department was ready, that the department uh, had prepared for this, and um, I, so I think we accomplished that as well. What's your number one priority going forward? There's a lot of priorities. You know, we, I've had the benefit of, of many different studies and inspector general reports making a lot of recommendations for the, this department post-January 6th. Uh, but I think that the top priorities for me have to do with staffing. Chief Manger says he hopes to hire a couple hundred people by the end of the year. Between resignations and retirement, the department has lost more than 70 officers since January 6. The chief says they've also created new assignments, which requires additional personnel. We've got more threats against members of Congress than I think we've ever had. So there's lots of demands for additional staffing. That's uh, one of my top priorities. How do you recruit in this day and age? What strategies, new strategies are you implementing to find the right people? So you, you've hit the nail on the head. It, it, and that is hiring the right people. I mean, we, we've been very fortunate in that we haven't had a lot of trouble getting people to come in and take the test and apply for the job. But I'll tell you one of the biggest, uh, I think, um, uh, incidents that helped us with recruiting was January 6th, believe it or not. And we've had a little bit of a bump as well after January 6th of people being uh, uh, understanding that the Capitol Police, you know, exist and what their job is. And so we've had a lot of folks apply. With everything that we have seen in the past year captured on video, even before the past year, related to police brutality and abuse of authority, how do you screen for unconscious bias? How do you screen for racism? Racism when you are looking at these applicants? So there, there's a number of, of strategies, and, and, and but I'll, I'll, I'll start off by saying um, it's not a perfect science, but there are things that you can do, and I think the first thing, you know, we, we do an extensive psychological exam um, on our applicants, and many of them, if they have, if they demonstrate, a, a, you know, personality where they have, you know, kind of a, a bullying personality, or just, you know, that, that uh, they're, they're, they want this job because, oh, then I get a badge and a gun and I can tell people what to do. I mean, those are the people we just eliminate quickly. Now, Capitol Police recommended disciplinary action for six officers related to their actions stemming from the January 6th attack. Chief Manger would not go into detail, but said they face a range of disciplinary actions with at least one in the appeals process. He says most of those cases were handled before he took the role as chief. On Capitol Hill, both to Imam for BNC.